What is up you guys? My name is Madison. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I am holding my phone like this because today I'm going to do my bookshelf tour thing. Um, and I don't have my setup. And I don't want to move everything. So I'm just going to do a quick intro. And this video is going to be super, super long, probably. Um, but yeah let's just get started so um i'm really bad at giving disclaimers at the end of this video um like i just finished editing it at the end of this video I said that i don't have a lot of books i know i have a lot of books um i probably should have said this with like my desk tour and really any tour i've ever done um most of this these books and um the makeup i received or anything i've really received has either been a gift or i bought it with my own money or you know something like that and these shelves were not expensive I get that um but these are what i got and i don't want to brag i don't want to you know offend somebody um but i earned these i paid for them they were gifts things like that so um yeah i don't see why i have to give a disclaimer for that but like i know that the, that i have a lot of stuff um a lot more than the average person rather because people now don't read anyway um like, I know that. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to be mean about it. Thanks. Enjoy the video. So, this is what my bookshelves look like. Um, these two are from Ikea. And those two right there, those two right there stacked on top of each other from Walmart. Um, and, yeah. So, most of these are my books. Um, those two shelves belong to my little brother. And those three shelves right there belong to my mom. Um, it's just easier to keep their books in here since I'm the one with the shelves um so I'm not gonna be going over those however I did paint that and that just thought I should let you know um but yeah I'm gonna move in closer and we can go over each other I'm sorry if there's weird audio and angles um I'm holding my phone pretty weird um but right there on top I just have the Barbie doll box and a little Easter egg my little brother. So just to clarify, I have three younger brothers. Um, one of them is my age, and then two of them are much younger than I am. So not every time I say little brother, um, like I there's a multitude of different people that could be, um, or there's two different people that could be. So like yeah, if you don't see like a sixteen year old or like a three year old, I'm sorry. Dragon egg. So I just stuck it right there on top, and in this top shelf, I have my Barbie doll a fake plant, a glass angel, an arrow, and five poetry books. I have Milk and Honey, I have And the Sun and Her Flowers by Ruby Carr, Broken Flowers by Robert M. Drake, and then The Witches and Burning This One, as well as The Princess Saves Her Cell of This One by Amanda Lovelace. Going down a shelf, I have mostly murder mysteries and historical fiction. Um, so I have The Librarian of Auschwitz, um, The Book Thief, Labyrinth, September Society, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, uh, Death on Blackheath, Night Circus, Supermarket, and The Girl That Left Behind, as well as a painting that my rugged finger, what? A handprint painting that me and my best friend did. Um, we've been friends since 2014, so that's why it says established 2014. Um, a heart that my brother drew for me, and then this box right here that's from And Always, which is a jewelry company by Lauren. Uh, which just holds notes from my boyfriend. Going down, I have my Harry Potter shelf. Um, yes, I am missing a sixth book. It will go back there when I finish reading it. Um, it's currently on a shelf over there. But I do have all the books, including Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, as well as um, like a wizard run thing that my mom saw and signed me up for, which came with um, a beverage ticket, which is the, um, number, this thing right here that I kept because I put the sticker on it. It came with a wand and it always falls, but it's just right there. Um, and then a medal as well as I have Hermione's wand, um, some bookmarks, and this right here is the Hogwarts library, as well as just some Harry Potter bookmarks that I like to have on display. Right here I have more contemporary and... Supernatural, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, so this is kind of empty. 
I'm trying to fill this up more because these are the books that I tend to reach for. Um, but going into it, I have The Griffin Project, Changeling, Everything Everything. Sorry, my little brother's playing with an egg timer. Um, but Simon vs. Homo Sapiens, Old Men's from High School, Cemetery Boys, The Duff, Paper Towns, Tweet Cute, uh, House of Birth and Blood, City of Ashes, The Vampire Diaries, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Home Before Dark, and The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. So I'm not going to show like that bottom shelf so I'm gonna try and like avoid that as much as I possibly can um but here I have uh, Mouse Diary, Mouse Bell Book, things like that. This is the Descendant series, um the Girl Online trilogy, um the Giver Quartet, I have the Maze Runner series, the Program series, um Tell the Book Before trilogy and two of the three books from the Dash and Lily series. Um, I am going to go over these, but I'm not going to go over there because that shows the names of schools that I went to because those are my yearbooks. Um, but yeah, right here I have magazines and graphic novels and stuff. My favorite uh, manga, which is Vampire Night. And then I also have this little, like, ballerina snow globe because it's really cute. So, yeah. Going back up here, I have all my classics. So... All of these right here are Barnes and Nobles classics. Um, so I have uh, Edgar Allan Poe, Lady Chatterley's Lover, Phantom of the Opera, A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, uh, Walden and Civil Disobedience, and My Antonio. I think that's pronounced that. Sorry, I'm trying to read this through my phone so I know which ones I'm talking about. Here I have two Jane Austen books. I'm pretty sure that's Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility, as well as Dracula. Here I have Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales. Um, yeah, that, that cover is stunning, so I put that on display. And then here I have the Grimm's Brothers Complete Fairy Tales. And then I have another Jane Austen book. It's North Anchor Abbey. Um, I get the Chrissy book. That's also pretty much my mom's, but decided to read it. Um, the Secret Garden, Persuasion, uh, Diary of Anne Frank, Emma, Mansfield Park, Picture of Dorian Gray, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, The Guy Gatsby, Fair Knife 451, and Lord of the Flies. Coming down, I have um, all my nonfiction books as well as another painting that I painted. It's kind of ugly, but I like the colors and it worked well, so I put it here. Um, here I have Catch Me If You Can and You Are a Badass. I have this dictionary that I have to read for school um, and memorize. Both Dan and Phil books um, and Ocean Animals. My little brother insisted that I put it here. Um, a dictionary. Uh, 13 Hours, Thriving with Social Anxiety, Columbine, and Really Professional Internet Person. Going down, I have pretty much my favorite shelf, even though it's kind of empty right now, because I have two of the Peter Pan books that I plan on collecting more. I love Peter Pan. Um, a little Tinkerbell snow globe because I love Tinkerbell. Another painting. Um, yeah, that one also sucks. Anyway, um, and then the Magic Tree House uh, books one through five, and then book eight coming down. This is more science fiction. So I have um, The Outsider, The Institute, and 112263 by Stephen King. I have We Are the Ant, uh, Last of Her Name, Ready Player One. The Shape of Water, as well as a box set of Warcross and Wildcard. Here I have a Versace Blue Jeans uh, cologne thing, and in it I have like coins and stuff, and then a hand sanitizer roller, as well as a little dolphin thing because the, the colors match and I thought it was really cute. Um, but yeah, that's all for this shelf. Um, going over on top here, I have my Scentsy thing. That is currently empty because I have a candle burning, which my brother got for me. This is uh, Cotton and Clouds. He also made me this, and there's a little picture of me. I'm really cute. Here I have this jar that he made, that my brother made me again. It says Full Time Maggie Lindman Stan. Um, my boyfriend's initials and the Green Arch Sparkles because that's the only way I will ever respond to him. Nuns aren't real, which is in fact something I have said. Um, and then my name and it's just really cute and I always keep it on full time Maggie Lemon stand because that's what I am anyway stream paranoia anyway going into the actual shelf um 
this, these, that shelf, that shelf, and that shelf right there are my TBR. Um, is my TBR? Ooh, that's right. Um, if you want me to go through all of these books, um, I will. Most of them you've seen before multiple times on my channel, but you, if you want to see them, then I'll go through them. If not, you can see them right now. Um, a lot of these would have would be rereads, um, but I do have like the beginning of the series. So I have the first program series. I have uh, the first Vampire Diaries, Girl Online, Werewolf, Halflings. I have the Harry Potter one down here, Messenger by Lois Lowry, which is the third book, I believe. There's the first book to the Mortal Instruments um, over here. I have the Death Cure, I Was in Forever, and Rise of the Isle of the Lost. I believe that's what's called. Yeah. Here I have. Uh, Pablo from the Backyard Games. I have a pace of Moth Knots too, but he's too big to fit on this shelf. And then one of those mood flippy octopi things. I also have a cat, which I sleep with every night, and then just some tissues. Um, if you can hear my fan, I'm sorry. Um, I'm right next to my bathroom. So, um, just a lighter. Here I have all my perfume, and then just a hand lotion that I really like. Um, and then a lamp. Right there I have my candles and my wax melts. There I have books that I plan on unhauling in a video when I get more. And then bookmarks. And then like I said, the rest are my mom. So that is my bookshelf. I'm sorry if it wasn't super exciting or anything. Um, I don't have a lot of books and I am very bad at setting things up. Um, how other people like, but I like it. It's easy for me to see all these books. Um, it's better than what I had before where all my books are just kind of stacked on top of each other. And I couldn't see them at all. So, yeah, having these bookshelves are very useful, especially now that my little brother and my mom can have all their books on my shelves as well. So, yeah, that's that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. All my social media will also be down below, and I will see you next time, whenever that may be. That was super hard with one hand. Bye!